good afternoon students uh, the networking terms today we will discuss uh, the e yes e group and social networking websites there are two important uh, three important terms e governance e groups and social networking websites after that there are some uh, terms that are linked with the mobile technologies theek hai to wo hum discuss karenge so first is e governance to so, beta e governance means governance means uh, how to manage the resources for the general public theek hai तो गवर्नेंस का मतलब ये होता है जैसे हम वर्ड यूज करते हैं गवर्नमेंट तो एक किसी भी गवर्नमेंट का जो सबसे पहला मोटिव होता है वेलफेयर ओके तो आपके पास जब आप यूज करते हो ई गवर्नेंस इट मींस बेटर गवर्नेंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंटरनेट तो हियर ई गवर्नेंस इट रेफर्स टू द application of electronic means electronic means we have the internet in governance we then aim of fulfilling the requirement of common common man at affordable cost and in fastest possible time so better uh, the governance means better utilization of resources for uh, the welfare of society to so, aapke paas jo ek government hoti hai uska main purpose hi resources ko use karna hai public welfare uh, mein to so, jab aap governance karte ho with the help of internet this is called e governance clear so uh, it refers to the application of electronic means in governance with a with an aim of fulfilling the requirement of common man at affordable cost and fastest possible time to so, fast time and minimum cost clear so the the government provides number of schemes for welfare for example there are uh, subsidies in uh, petro petroleum products or in a uh, lpg clear there are employment given by uh, governments so different schemes are government ki aur jab aap in schemes ko internet ki help se online kar dete ho to aapke paas e governance aati hai to so, e governance mein there are different uh, examples in india that show the e governance for example i am taking one example the website of mca.gov.in so i am opening this website so this is the website of ministry of corporate affairs it means if any company has any problem that company can uh, log in the complaints uh, or can uh, utilize the services given in this uh, website so this is a website of uh, ministry of corporate affairs means companies theek hai so ऐसी हमारे पास एक और वेबसाइट है 
that is http passport dot gov dot in so i am going to open this website Beta, the website of uh, uh, given in your book for passport is passport.gov.in. So it is passportindia.gov.in. Beta, passport India. So this contain this website contain the information regarding the passport. You can online apply the passport. Clear. So here we can update the uh, information. We can. Uh, file a uh, we we can uh, fill a file we can uh, upload a file click at different things we can do so it is again a example of e governance third one in the case of income tax okay if you want to fill income tax return so there is website of indian government that is income tax dot gov dot in So this website provide us e governance for income tax purpose. Clear? So in your paper, me, such websites' ke name can come. Name they write down any three URL of uh, the Indian government website for e governance. So here is income tax India dot gov dot in. Then in your book, there is another website is given. D R D O. This is a defense research and development organization. This is a government organization that is used. Uh, that is its motive is to uh, do uh, the research work in defense. Okay, so the website of DRDO is DRDO dot gov dot in. So it provide us governance. in the defense work okay so these are the different uh, then for supreme supreme court website here we can uh, uh, see the status of any case pending case okay so after us supreme court of india the website is of supreme court of india so website is main dot sci supreme court beta url is different one okay this url is of government uh, supreme court of india main dot sci supreme court of india dot gov dot in then indian courts so agar aapne कोई और कोड के बारे में इंफॉर्मेशन लेनी है देन देर इज डॉट जीओवी डॉट इन दिस वेबसाइट प्रोवाइड अस कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट डिपेंडिंग केसेस इन लोअर कोर्स देर इज आरटीआई वेबसाइट आरटीआई वेबसाइट इज यूज फॉर राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन okay in case you want to get the information about any uh, government tender its cost okay you can fill the rti so i the website of uh, rti the rti online.gov.in so these are the different uh, websites that provide us these are just example so on the basis of uh, uh, with the help of internet the government can expand the welfare schemes okay so in present time all the schemes are now online so there are uh, uh, these are the different benefits or iska benefit kya advantages 
advantages are these informations are available 24 into 7 clear second one is this is a genuine information if we get the information from any other person he or she can manipulate that but real information you can get from these websites okay and uh, these are the uh, some advantages of uh, e governance now next topic is e groups now uh, e groups are also called bulletin board okay these are also uh, this is a online community board so yahan pe aap similar ideas ke log aapas mein discussion kar sakte hain there are different groups like uh, banking or computer or uh, insurance or uh, uh, engineering theek hai to aap kisi bhi group mein join kar sakte ho there are some groups are uh, open and some are closed in open groups you can join with your uh, interest but for closed groups you will have to get the permission of uh, admin so there are these are uh, the uh, the definition of uh, e groups are it refers to an online community where people discuss on topic of common discussion common interest okay so here we can discuss regarding that so jo bhi aap uh, you can make the post in this in these groups and uh, you will get the comment okay to aap wahan pe post karte ho uske response mein aapke paas comments aate hain to is tarike se aapke paas ek gen ek healthy conversation is there so there are different examples of uh, e groups uh, for example groups dot google dot com so here you can create your own group for example i am opening the website of groups.google.com so here we can create the group and different member can become its a uh, different person can become its member clear so it may be open or it may be closed okay so these are called groups so uh, the the advantages uh, of uh, the features of uh, group uh, uh, the e groups are or benefits keeps you in touch with other members second one to make new friends so a uh, new man uh, uh, the friends added in the groups and you can become the member of uh, these new members next is build a community okay so with simple interest we are creating a group that has a, an ideas and uh, they exchange their ideas so ye aapke paas ek advantage hai e groups ke the next thing we are going to discuss here is social networking website present time social networking websites are very very popular so social networking websites it is a it is a website that provides a venue to 
poor people to share their activities with family members friends and colleagues okay so there are different uh, network uh, social networking websites are there examples are facebook linkedin myspace twitter youtube Flickr, WordPress, Blogger, TypePad, Lidjournal, Wikipedia, wet point wet pain wiki dot second life del dot ic expo dot us dex red reddit so these are the just examples of uh, social networking websites so present time social networking websites are very very popular with us the reason is you can uh, make friends you can discuss your uh, interest with uh, your friends now next is uh there are some advantages of uh, social networking websites merit or advantages so number one is easier to connect with people so it is a platform where we can uh, connect with the different people second one easy to hold discussion and collect opinion so aap uh, discussion kar sakte ho with the, your friends your colleagues your family members interactive involvement so there are uh, uh, multimedia contents are there that's why interactive involvement is there next is brings more awareness so you are aware about uh, the different uh, the latest happening the latest uh, topics but there are some deep uh, demerits here of the social networking website these are misusing 
the data or information posted by innocent user so uh, it can be used for e frauds or uh, bullying okay there are different uh, uh, you can say different uh, cyber crimes are there to the to misusing the information or uh, posted in posted by innocent users this is a big uh, problem for social networking website So you are not aware that whether the information provided in social networking websites are genuine or fake. Take, take care. So give me a mini pata. Next is fake profiles. So profiles are fake. You you are not aware with whom you are chatting. You are exchanging the post. So whenever you are using the social networking website, it increases the pressure. Okay, then irresponsible behavior. So there are a negative uh, uh, change in your behavior. Irresponsible behavior when you are using social networking websites. Then. Number six, bullying and trolling. Again, big problem for social networking websites. Series of messages is trolling and bullying means defaming any other person. Next one is attention seeking. Disorders. And addiction. So sometimes people make the pose in order to get the uh, attention. Okay. So they are addicted. So these are different uh, disadvantages or demerits. तो आपके पास जो सोशल नेटवर्किंग वेबसाइट्स हैं इसमें आपके पास कुछ फीचर्स अवेलेबल होते हैं दीज आर फीचर्स ऑफ सोशल नेटवर्किंग वेबसाइट दीज आर यू कैन चेंज योर प्रोफाइल यूजर प्रोफाइल यू कैन चेंज योर फोटोग्राफ्स योर एज योर नेम लाइक दिस then is a photo album so you can upload your photographs there then they, you can make your friends okay groups are there discussion boards are there discussion boards are there okay comments are there walls are there tags messaging media gallery here we can store the videos so these are the different features of our social networking websites now we are going to discuss in the last topic of your theory part that is mobile techn technologies so in mobile technology there is a one uh, there is a sms 3g and 4g and mms we are going to discuss these the so first is sms so sms stands for short message service so it is a very short message maximum is 140 characters a very short message we can send from mobile to mobile this is called sms 
so it is a commonly referred as text message okay uh, you can send the message up to 160 characters okay no more than 160 characters if your text is more then you can divide your message into different uh, number of parts the longer longer message if you are sending it is automatically uh, divided into different uh, parts so next is so it is a very very small message text message up to 160 character which we send from one mobile device to another mobile device then next term is mms the full form of mms is multimedia messaging service So when we send the multimedia contents in place of text message, it is called MMS. So here we can uh, multimedia contents like uh, your audio, video contents. Okay. So here uh, the short form is MMS, multimedia messaging service. This is used for sending pictures, videos. audio from one mobile device to another mobile device next term is 3g and then 4g so 3g stands for third generation so third generation mobile technology 3g stands for third generation mobile technology uh, it is a upgradation of a 2G, second generation. So in a uh, third generation, that is compatible for sending, uh, one thing is speed is high as compared with 2G. Second one is we can share uh, the, uh, here we can use the uh, fast internet okay, as compared with the second generation. And last one is 4G, it stands for fourth generation so fourth generation is the uh, latest uh, the current uh, generation of uh, mobile technology here we can use internet at very high speed there are multimedia contents we can share there are online uh, streaming is there okay this is called your fourth generation mobile technology so this is your all about your uh, mobile technologies so there are th four terms given in your book uh, slippers that is sms mms third gen 3g and 4g so if you have any doubt please raise your hands with us